In this section, we take a deeper look at the edit mode. Double-clicking anywhere on the vector shape will create a wave point that can be dragged across the frequency spectrum. Set a shaper dot anywhere between two wave points to curve and sculpt the EQ shape to your needs. Note that you can only have up to two shaper dots between two wave points. Moving a wave point will perfectly scale the whole EQ shape. If you want to edit complex curves or do tiny changes to the frequency spectrum, the zoom bar will help you get a better vision for more precise editing. By clicking the stereo symbol at the upper right corner, you open the channels menu, where you can split the stereo channel. The left channel curve is getting copied over to the right channel by default. Now you can edit the left and right channel independently. Note that you can always copy curves between the left and right channel by right-clicking on the channel tabs. If you ever wish to start your edit from scratch again, simply right-click on the curve editor to reset for a fresh start. You can use the undo and redo function to return to previous curve states. Find out more about all features of Spectral EQ in our next tutorial.